Well, I'm out here this morning inspecting my plants and I have found another enemy. <laughs> this one is really um, drives me nuts is the dreaded hornworm on my tomatoes. Now, I've got tomatoes in several different spots and this is one reason because sometimes they'll get them in one spot and not get them in the other spot. So, I have had none in my herb garden. And if you've watched my videos, you know that I have babied my herb garden and taken care of my herb garden and prayed over everything. Um, I have not had hornworms yet, yet in my herb garden. But I found a couple on a pot, a tomato in a pot that I have in the yard. And I found uh, one on uh, one of the tomato plants in the big garden. So I'm gonna show you, um, if you don't know, if you have tomatoes very much, you've probably dealt with this, but I'm gonna show you how to deal with this enemy. <laughs> now, I talked about who's your enemy and who's not in another video, and I'm gonna link that in the description below and at the end of this video. If you haven't watched that, go watch that because it has multiple um, lessons in it. And uh, so, I'm gonna show you right now how I spotted this hornworm. So first off, I have an herb garden with uh, about six tomato plants in it. And then I have several in pots out here in my yard. And then we have five up in the big garden. And I always do that for this reason because you might get a pest in one area and not in another area, and then this way, maybe it won't uh, take everything. So, I go out and inspect every morning for pests, um, and just to see how good my garden's growing, and most of y'all probably do that too. At least once a day, you probably go out and check your garden just to see how things are growing. And, um, you know, you may not have a big garden. You may just have... Uh, couple of pots on your porch and you still need to go out and look at them every day for this reason especially because I come by and saw that it's not focusing in well but that is a little hornworm poop and there will be specks here and there on your plant and I was trying to find another one well I saw a couple of them when I come by. There's another one up in there. Wait a minute. It's not catching it. There it is. There's one. Just a little black speck. And then that one. Now that's the only two I saw, but I knew. I knew from experience right away what's going on. So there is a hornworm on here somewhere. Now all I've seen so far is little bitty tiny ones but they still have big poop. So, I got my gloves because I do not touch these without gloves. You can, some people do. I get my gloves out. I will put on my glove and go over this plant really good. They are hard to see. You can get a black light, pretty cheap. You can get them at Harbor Freight or on, or on Amazon or wherever. Probably can get them at Walmart. I got mine online, but I have seen them at uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, but anyway, they're not expensive. They're not real expensive. You can get a, whoops, I am everywhere. Okay, they're not real expensive. You can get them pretty cheap. And they make it easier to see them when it gets dark. So at night, you could come out and shine that black light and find them easier. But since I know this one's here right now, I am going to find it and get it off of here. So, the main thing, they're usually underneath the leaf. I usually find them under the leaf. So, you have to really get down there and look under those leaves good. And they are uh, hard to see. They're uh, green. They're usually exactly the color of your tomato plant so they're really hard to find sometimes but you just have to keep looking until you find that little sucker and get him off there and squish him now you can feed him to your chickens but um 
I have had times where I took one and fed it to the chickens and they ignored it and it started crawling away. And so now I just squish them. And uh, also, uh, I'm going to keep looking until I find this sucker, but I'm going to talk first. Another thing I always do is knock that poop off of there. And the reason I do that is because that way when you walk back by this plant later, if there's more poop, you know there's another one. So I always make sure to knock that poop off of there. Get all the little poops off of there after you find him or before you find him or whatever. But uh, anyway, I'm not seeing him, so I'm going to have to really dig here. I may have to uh, put the camera down until I find it. So these are, by the way, just if you're curious, these are um, a um, cosmic tomato. And it's supposed to be a little tomato, I thought. But some of them are getting a little bigger, and I'm starting to think it's not. There. <clears throat> that one's pretty big there. <clears throat> now, I do also have black beauties. So this could be a black beauty. Anyway, they look like the black beauty also, and I do have black beauty uh, see, uh, plants uh, that I seeded. I seeded all of mine in my greenhouse this year. Everything we've got, I, I bought a few plants, and all the rest I started from seeds in my greenhouse, so I'm proud of that. But um, I did have some black beauty. I've got two or three black beauty um, tomato plants going, and uh, that's what this is starting to look like. So it may be black beauty instead of the cosmic, uh, I can't think of the name of it. It's from Baker's Creek and it was cosmic something. Uh, so I may have labeled that wrong. Anyway, I'm going to stop this until I find this fella. And then I'll come back and show him to you because he is hiding good. And I know he's on here. You know when you see that poop and if you knock that poop off like i said knock that poop off of there so that the next time you come by you know if there's one still there um you'll know that you still have one anyway so since i'm not seeing him i'm gonna have to stop this and look good and then i'll come back okay y'all another lesson learned sometimes you can't see the enemy. I've looked all over this plant and I cannot find this enemy. I know he's there. I know he's there. But I can't find him. I can't see him. Doesn't that sound like everyday life also? Is that you don't see the devil. You don't see the devil. You see his work right? You see his work, just like I saw this uh, hornworm poop. You see his work. You can't just get a hold of him and destroy him because you can't see him. But you know he's there. You know he's there. So what do I have to do? Think about this. What do I have to do? I'm going to have to keep looking. I'm going to have to be vigilant and watchful and keep an eye out probably constantly since I know he's here. I know he's here, but I sure can't find him to destroy him. But you know what? You know what I keep saying? I've prayed and prayed over my gardens this year. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to pray about this enemy. So there you go. Just another lesson in the garden, huh? Thank y'all for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Comment. Please comment. And uh, if you're not subscribed to our channel, please do. And watch us on Friday nights at 7 Central Time. I see another one. A bug. I'm killing that bug. I don't know what that was. That was on my grapes. Okay, y'all, this one is the cosmic one. See how it's got the uh, dark colors too, but it's smaller. It's a, uh, it's kind of a teardrop shaped and smaller. 
and that one over there was rounder. So that one over there is probably the um, Black Beauty, and this one's gonna be the Cosmic, because it's gonna be longer and smaller. There you go, there's the difference. This one's up by my porch. And um, so far, no enemies up here. Anyway, there you go, that's the Cosmic, and that other one is rounder and uh, bigger, and it's the um, Black Beauty. Okay, y'all, so here's the black light. I got this black light on Amazon for about $9. And you can see the uh, hornworms. If we find one, you will see that they light up and glow. Lee's no looking. Lee's manning the flashlight, and I've got my glove on, ready to <laughs> pull them off of there. No zen on there. Okay, well this is one of them that, this is a uh, plant that I saw poop on today, but I couldn't find the worm. But, the chickens had been out, so maybe the chickens got it. No, Nothing? But anyway, no. that's what you do. You can come out at night and shine this black clot on mm -hmm. them. Okay, so Lee pointed out that my socks glow like a hornworm would. So let's show that. <laughs> That's my socks. And a hornworm would light up like that. 